Back in the realm of fiction, we have a book written by my really good friend and colleague, Marcus Wynne. No other option. Now this wasn't actually Marcus's first book that he wrote. The first book he wrote was Air Marshals, but this was the first one that was published. Air Marshals was, was then published later. The title, No Other Option, was actually um, given to the book by the publishers. Marcus's working title was Off the Reservation, which in the community refers to somebody who's gone rogue. But the publisher thought that the readers might think it was a Western novel. So they chose this title, No Other Option. The book is actually based on a, a true story of the Delta Force rapist. There was um, a Delta Force member, I won't mention his name, who um, used to break into women's houses and apartments and rape them. He was eventually caught and sent to prison for a very long time. He actually came over to, to uh, Hereford and was working with the guys there. And during his time at Hereford, he, he was a, a very uh, committed Christian and he converted one of the chaps to... Uh, Christianity, who actually left the regiment to become a pastor, Frank Collins' his name was, and he eventually, unfortunately, committed suicide. But um, the Delta Force guy went back to the States and, as I say, ended up being um, convicted of, of numerous rapes. So this forms the basis of the plot. So we take a character who um, has served with with Delta and escapes from prison. His, his name's um, Johnny Maxwell in the book and um, resumes his um, violent activities, raping women. A former colleague, um, Dale Miller, who uh, was, was a Delta operator and is now working for a clandestine direct action cell, <clears throat> is tasked with assisting law enforcement and advising them on how best to capture this guy, because um, he, he's got a, a range of very, very serious uh, skills to evade capture. And um, Johnny Miller holds up in Minneapolis, makes it a center of operations. And he actually uses Marcus's old apartment as his base as written in the book and I've stayed in that apartment several times so it was really interesting for me to um, have that described. Also quite a few of the characters in the book are based on real people particularly a lot of the good guys. The um, as, as you might expect from somebody with Marcus's background the technical detail the tactics and the weapons are spot on. Uh, there's a lot of um, ambushes and counter ambushes described um, with, with a really high level of authenticity. It's a very gripping story. Um, there's a lot of um, twists and turns to the plot. And um, the Dale Miller character is actually used in a, a, a subsequent book, Brothers in Arms which is another great read. Uh, Mark has gone on to, to write several other books and quite a few other series of books, actually. Uh, and he's also recently released his non-fiction um, book on, um, on neural-based training, which, which we will uh, no doubt be discussing as well. But this was the one that really started his career and... Uh, it, it's one that I, I really recommend. It's, um, it's a classic of the genre, really.